Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to speed up your computer and make it a lot faster than it already is going. Uh, you may notice your computer, uh, since you have re since you've uh, pu either reinstalled or put in your uh, operating system or just bought it in general from a, a computer store nearby, um, or bought your computer off the internet, wherever you bought it from, you may have lost speed uh, after a few months, or depending on how much you store on it or how much you use it. So today I'll be showing you how to make it back to, well, take it back to almost factory settings. Well, not factory settings, but make it kind of more uh, how you bought it. So the first one, first thing we're going to do, this is basically for any instant speed you're looking for. Uh, you're going to start computer, right-click the computer icon, uh, the computer option, and press properties. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to press advanced system settings. Now if you're on Windows XP uh, you may need to look at another tutorial because this is really for Windows 7 and Windows Vista so uh, well, you can keep watching because there is some other things that I can show you uh, to do. This is definitely available in Windows XP but and lower operating systems you can still do this. Uh, I don't know about Windows 98 because this is basically the theme it's going to change it to so <laughs> just please note that uh, <laughs> It's uh, quite a bad theme, that's the reason I'm laughing at the moment. Uh, so as you can see, you press on, once you get into this window, you press Visual Effects, Processor, Scheduling, Memory Usage and Virtual Memory. We're only going to use the Visual Effects, so what we're going to do is we're press Settings, then we're going to go, it takes you straight into Visual Effects. And now it says, select the settings you want to use for the appearance and performance of Windows on this computer. Now what we're looking for is, win uh, we're looking for the Windows performance. So what you do is you press let Windows choose what's best for my computer. Now, uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that, pressing that one. I would recommend pressing custom and then deselect. Oh, in fact, sorry, hold on. Just press adjust for best performance. Um, if you want to just select custom, then just undo them all. If it still ticks one, I wouldn't recommend ticking any of them. If uh, you press this option, adjust for best performance, and it still leaves one ticked because it thinks that your computer's fast enough. Just press custom and then untick them all. So that's us, they're all unticked and you can just press apply and this will take um roughly around uh a couple of almost a couple of minutes or a minute to change. So we'll just wait on that. Well it may actually just take thirty seconds, I don't know. Uh it depends how fast your computer is in the hardware. So there we go. That's us, uh, and as you can see, the steam is not so great, but it still runs very fast. As you can see, the windows are closing very fast, and uh, they're not uh, hogging any memory or anything. So, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to we're going to go into start, and we're going to go to search for programs and files. Now, you can either run it from this box, or you can type in run and get the run window up. Now on Windows XP the run option will be around here in the start menu. I just press that and get that to open up. So now what you do is you type in M S C O N F I G. That's M S config. I think the MS stands for Microsoft Config. It basically just configures the Windows startup routes and such. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press start up um, we'll we'll get to services in a minute, but we're just gonna do we're gonna just start up at the moment. So go to the startup tab. There's the startup tab right there, and we're gonna deselect the items that you don't need on the startup. So see, so yeah, I deselected the iTunes updater or whatever. I think that's an updater. You can just drag this uh, command along just to see where it actually is. Um, see what the route it takes. Um, so I'll untick the iTunes helper. Um, I don't think we need that. And Steam, I don't need Steam to load up at startup. Uh, I think we'll. I will just do that. Uh, we'll go to apply and OK. Now what you'll do is you'll press um, restart, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to press exit without restart. Now what we're going to do is we're going to download a program called C Cleaner. Now I've got it here. Uh, it would normally be on the desktop, obviously, but uh, we're just going to click on that. And we're going to press yes, and we're going to get that up. Um, now I've already done this today, so I'm just going to click to get all these desktop items away. So we're going to press run cleaner, 
and that this is kind of it's just self-explanatory stuff from now on. Basically, you can do this yourself. Just download CCleaner. And you can uh, press Run Cleaner, and it will clear out all your internet histories and all the all the history rubbish that's in your computer that you don't actually need. Um, obviously, don't wipe out your history if you have important stuff that you've browsed through recently and you want to keep it in history, so you don't need to go and find it all again on Google or whatever. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go from the cleaner tab to the registry tab and uh, we're going to press scan for issues and I would recommend doing the cleaner and the registry tabs every every so often, every week or almost something. I don't think you can schedule it, uh, maybe you can in the options but you can check that out for yourself. Um, I personally I just run it every so often. Now I've run this already today so there's not very many. You're just going to press fix selected issues and you're going to go to no and press fix all selected issues and that's it basically done issue what well says issue fixed which is not actually an issue it was actually issues with an s <laughs> right so the next thing if that doesn't speed it up i would either recommend reinstalling your whole operating system and uh, now i might do a tutorial i think actually i'll do a tutorial on that later on uh, maybe in the next month or so because i'm quite uh, busy at the moment with exams and such and study uh, but uh, other than that, we can go to the internet browser that you have. Uh, I've used Google Chrome and sometimes Firefox, but I just use Google Chrome mostly. We're gonna go to. We're gonna type into Google. Um, crucial, R A M. What's this? Crucial RAM. Crucial as a company. Uh, you're gonna go to Crucial. It will automatically select uh, which region you're in. I'm in the UK at the moment, so well at the moment I. I've lived in the UK for the whole life, so <laughs> um, you're gonna select. Basically, when you go on here, you'll see this whole interface on the website, and you'll press on Select Manufacturer. Now, the random access memory in your computer. I'll explain this. Um, this is where the see when you press on a program, uh, that's where the program is loaded to. It has to be loaded from the hard disk, which is the backing memory into a temporary memory which is going to run uh, and keep the program running uh, if you increase that random access memory to load programs into it then there's a much bigger space for it to load into which is faster um, and makes it a lot more efficient uh, now as you can see there's a lot of uh, tools on this website such as SSD advisor tool but what we're going to do is we're going to go to the memory advisor um, I would actually recommend going to the system scanner and go to scan my computer and now that will download a scanner and you can scan your computer and make it um, find what specification of RAM you need it will find the exact pieces that you or the exact RAM because they're all different uh, the, it's basically a chip, well, it's almost like a chip like that that's it there, it's that green kind of uh, on most computers it's that kind of green sort of long strip of uh, it's called random access memory again so we're just waiting for the scan to load up here basically what you do is you just download the scanner then press on the download and it shall download so here we go we've got it scanned and mine says it's a crucial system scanner results for MSI MicroStar MS-7125 now that's basically the specification that fits on my motherboard. Um, if you don't understand much about this issue, you just go into a computer store nearby. Try not go for a dead expensive fit because they will fit it for ridiculous amounts of money. And uh, I'm actually putting my face in my hand at the moment because it is actually ridiculous amounts of money they charge to fit RAM, even though it's just a push in basically. I would highly recommend just fitting it yourself. When you order from this website, um, order any. Uh, I would recommend a 2 gigabyte kit if you already have like 4 gigabytes do not upgrade too much because that should be enough uh, if you have uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM um, or 8 gigabytes or 12 gigabytes your computer should run fast if you reinstall Windows or reinstall the operating system which you are on so I'll just click that probably. I upgraded by one gigabyte because I only had one gigabyte in my system originally, so I just upgraded and by another one gigabyte and obviously one plus one is two. So um two gigabytes of RAM should be enough. 
and uh, I made that one plus one sound so hard there, but <laughs> I've been great at maths, but uh, obviously we all understand what one plus one is, that's a bit stupid, but so we'll go to, we'll just press on one of them, and you basically just buy it, um, it'll give you a wee bit of kind of technical information, but all you're looking at is the one gigabyte, um, basically that's 124 megabytes, but I'm not going to get too much in detail, so that'll do for this tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching, yeah, that web page is failing now, but uh, this has been Tutorial RB, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.